Good evening, Jim. How quiet below? Yes, sir. The big boy is sleeping like a kitten. Mm -hmm. Can I smoke? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Were you there in Ireland when they caught him? Yeah, sure was. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. He's something to see, I tell you. I know. Imagine. Almost 36 feet tall. Wow. You know, it's... It's almost a shame to put a beast into captivity and, and then put him on display for everybody to gawk at. Yeah. I know what you mean. Where's the first stop? Disneyland. <laughs> you gotta be bullshitting me. No, it's true. I sure hope the gas that put him out lasts that long. Well, I wouldn't worry about it. They say he should be out for, oh, another five days or so. Oh, shit.
Marilyn Baker on flight 005 from Los Angeles. Yes, she is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for this lovely, lovely welcome at this terribly early hour. This is my first visit to the Orient and my first movie picture outside of the United States, and I'm very, very excited. I understand we start shooting on location right away, so maybe, maybe you could all... Maybe you could all come down to the set. I'm sure my producers here could arrange that, and we could have an interview then. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Rose. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> oh. Oh. Excuse me, this is a friend of mine from the States, Mr. Rose, and this is my producer, Mr. Sung. Mr. Oh, Sun. How are you? Pleasure. Uh, uh, Mr. Lee, my associate. How are you? Uh, we should attend it to you, I beg it. Of course, of course. What are you doing in Seoul? I got my editor to assign me to cover your first movie in the Orient. Should be a big story. Don't be silly. Why did you come? I wanted to be near the woman I love. Tom, we promised to cool it. Remember? No talk of love. You promised. I didn't. I love you, and here I am. Tom, I told you in L.A. I needed time to think. I have a career. This commitment you're asking, I just don't know. I'll tell you what. Why don't you come to my hotel, and we'll discuss it over drink. Tom, I have to be on a set hours, and I've been on a plane for... I was just kidding. Look, we'll do it tonight. Dinner, conversation, and, uh... Okay, tonight. Meantime, I'm sure your producers won't mind if I take you to your hotel instead of them. What? My luggage? Well, Tom, I see you're traveling in your usual style. Hey, listen. This is the best I could do. I'm a reporter, not Charlton Heston. Well, two. Two. <laughs> hey, that's the South Gate. Actually built 500 years ago. It doesn't look that old. Well, they've rebuilt and restored it, but the original structure's there. Hey, listen. Why don't you tell your bosses that you're exhausted after 17 and a half hours on a plane, and you've desperately got to go to bed, and you've found just the guy to tuck you in? What's that building over there? It's the new trade center. You know, if I didn't see the Oriental lettering, I think it was on Wilshire Boulevard in L.A. There's this Buddhist priest I know who says he's never married two Caucasians before. And he's just died. Oh, well, you joke and you joke. And I bet if I said yes. I'd scare you to death. Try me. What's that building over there? It's where the president lives. It's very impressive, especially with that mountain behind it. This is your hotel. I'll see you tonight. I'll come up with you. No, I'd never get to bed. That's what I had in mind. 
out for a moment. May I call you back? I see. Just one moment, please. Telephone! It's all okay. He says it's very important. Yes? Oh, yes. Yes. All right, I'll be down in half an hour. Yeah, goodbye. It was important. Is anything the matter? <laughs> important? Some farmer had too much to drink this morning, I'm afraid. He says he saw footprints five to six feet long, belonging to some sort of master. A master? What kind of old master? Eat your breakfast, kids, or I'll become a master. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of bullshit you trying to hand me? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a footprint five or six feet long. Look, Captain, this is Korea, not Scotland. The Loch Ness Monster couldn't make it over the Berlin Wall. Wait a minute. What do you want? I need you to sign it, sir. Not now. Can't you see I'm busy? Yeah. yeah. Now, wait, wait. What was it you were saying? Now, you listen to me, Captain. You're not telling me what to do. I'm telling you. And I'll tell you what. If you'll knock it off for a minute and listen, I'll tell you. That's better. Well, I I'll tell you what I think it is. Well, I'll tell you what I think it is. It's a... Damn publicity stunt for a, some movie they're making. Didn't you read the morning paper? Yeah, there. You know that Marilyn, uh, oh, what's her name? Is all over the front page. Making a movie here. Now you check that out and stop wasting my time. What the hell are you doing on the floor, Smith?
Captain Kim, you're an intelligent man. And as you know, I have enormous respect for you. But to give credence to a couple of crank phone calls... Colonel, my office has already received at least a dozen calls from perfectly reliable sources and... Oh, excuse me just one second, Captain. Colonel Davis here. Yeah. Yeah. Who the hell are they? They've seen this, they've seen that. Have any of our people seen this supposed monster? No, I thought not. Look, why don't you do a little more investigating before getting so hysterical? Good. Good, you do that. And call me if you have something. Oh, hello? Hello? If you should bump into him, ask him if his name is King Kong. Forgive me, Captain Kim, but do you really believe any of this nonsense? You want to repeat that address again? You're getting all that. Now listen, are you sure this isn't some sort of gag? I've seen these people's parades. They're great with masks and costumes. You should see some of them. Oh, uh, you have. This isn't one of them. Okay, okay, check it out further. What brand did you say these were? Well, they're a Chinese cigarette called Long Life.
지금 뭐라고 할 얘기가 없어요. Captain Kim is speaking for the Korean police, and I'm speaking for the American armed forces. But we're in complete agreement about this. It's not a monster we're dealing with. It's more like uh, an overgrown ape. And just what the hell would you call that, sir? What do you call a creature that leaves footprints six feet long and squashes buildings in a single step? Come on, Colonel. I don't think you're owning up to the seriousness of the situation. Now, that kind of alarmist talk, Mr. Rose, will just tend to exacerbate the situation. Everything will be under control. Where is he? Well, somewhere south of Seoul. He was last seen in the Suwon sector. It's a 200-mile square area. Now, I assure you, and I assure everyone else who's either listening or watching me at this moment, that the combined forces of the American and Korean armies will either have captured or killed this, whatever you want to call it, by nightfall. Now, there is absolutely no reason to panic. Everything will be under control. Now, if you gentlemen will come this way. Captain Kim, do you remember me? Oh, yes, Tom Rose. How are you? Fine, how are you? So you're a captain now. How long has it been, Kim? Well, I think three years since you're last to hear. <laughs> Maybe three years from now, you'll be chief. <laughs> if I don't catch this ape, I'll probably be sweeping the streets instead. If I don't get a story, I'll be uh, selling magazines door to door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, I'm taking recon patrol later today. Would you like some company? I'd like to see with my own eyes just what the hell's going on out here. Yeah, I'd be most honored. Be at my command post in two hours, then. Good. That'll give me a chance to change my clothes and uh, go to the studio and warn Miss Baker. All right. I'll see you in two hours. See you. Thank you, Mr. Kim. Costume, Dino. Besides, we need to get some heat in here. I'm freezing. Yeah, it's pretty cold in here, but you'll generate your own heat in this okay? Okay, okay actors, uh... Okay, now, rehearsal now. And action, please. Scene, and you want me to be gentle, Dino? Uh, look, everybody take ten. Oh, I thought I wasn't supposed to see you until tonight. You weren't. <laughs> but things are getting worse with that giant ape. I thought I'd come out here and give you a little piece of advice. And what's that, Tom? Go back to Seoul until this thing blows over. I mean, you're taking a chance being out here on location. And that thing. King Kong? Whatever. He's <laughs> running loose and he's killed people. Well, oh, don't be ridiculous, Tom. I'm tangled with apes all my life. Hey, I'm not junkie. I'm dead serious. So am I. Oh. 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 Tom, this isn't the time or the place, really. I'm just trying to protect you from that rapist out there. Come on, must everything you say be a joke? I mean, that's why I won't marry you. I don't believe you. I don't believe you love me. It's ridiculous. Of course I love you. Well, then why do you make up stories about Buddhist priests Maybe and... I'm afraid. Maybe I'm afraid that if I ask you straight out, you'll say no. You're a movie star, and you're going to be bigger. Maybe too big for it. Alan, we're ready 
you for another take. Snuffed out another village. Look, get word to every base north of here for all American civilian personnel to be evacuated to Saul immediately. They'll be safe here. But, sir, the logistics. Screw the logistics. Move it, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Please evacuate the villages and the countryside. Move in an orderly fashion towards the city. We repeat, move towards the city. Do not bring valuables, they will only slow you down. Repeat, please evacuate the bill.
See anything? If you do, I think we won't need this. <laughs> May I? Watch your rope. What did he say? He was talking too fast for me to pick it up. <laughs> We're on the right track. He said uh, there's a lot of footprints and uprooted trees up ahead. Shall I go? Okay, roll sound, please. <laughs> please. Okay. One sixty-four, take two. Okay, actors, now. is really great, but you're going to have to do it again. Jesus Christ, Dino, what now? Cameraman saw something in the background. I don't know what it was, but we have to do it again. And... Seems that you're getting closer. You think you should radio for assistance? Well, that's just to find you first. Then you'll bet your life by radio for all the assistance I could get. Right on, bro. Right on? I guess right on. Okay, now, Greg. Easy now. Action! <laughs> Oh, Captain Kim's here. Oh, yes, the ape is headed toward the mountains. Yes, with Marilyn Baker, the American movie star. Oh, yes, she's alive. Yes. Right, right, sir. Lucky Bravo out. What did he say? We have to follow him, keep him in sight. The armed forces are on the way now. Yes, General. I, I've alerted the 3rd and 4th battalions. Right. Oh, I'll keep you posted, sir. Good day, sir. It's Korean Army headquarters on the line, Colonel. What the hell do they want to talk to me for? Colonel Davis. Yes. Yes? 
What? You gotta be kidding. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. No, oh, of course. I'll do my best. What do they want? They want him alive. Alive? Alive. Kill her? I don't think so. If we wanted to kill her, she'd be long dead by now. What the hell is he doing? I don't know. Let's keep following them. I'll hang on here. She is still alive. Well, what are we going to do? Wait? Wait? My God, Kim, he's going to kill her. Well, calm down, my friend. What else can he do? The reinforcement should be here any minute. If he tried to do anything now, he'd crush us like ants. Ah! <laughs> 
hell are they waiting for? Troops with gas. Let me have a check in. When the soldiers draw them away, I'll go in there and get them. No, that's a suicide on my friend. It's our only chance. Please. Very well. If you get her out, take her to my house in Seoul. You remember the address. Okay, she'll be out of danger there. Good luck, Tom. Yuba! Take it easy, Tom. Somehow I felt more safe with the ape than I do with your driving. I'll take you back then. No, that's all right. I'd rather be in Seoul. What? Oh, Jesus, now we're in for it. Right, right, keep right on after him. Give me the goddamn operation center. Davis here, sir. We failed to capture him. The gas wouldn't work up there. The wind blew it away too quickly. The monkey's on his way back to Seoul. 
That's exactly what I said, sir. The goddamn monkey's on his way back to Seoul. Seems he'd taken that American movie star and was heading for the mountains. But she escaped when we tried to capture him. That's right. Tom Rose, the reporter, is driving her back to Seoul. The goddamn monkey's following him. How the hell do I know why? Oh, sorry, sir. Yes, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I'll keep you posted. Goddamn armchair soldiers. What, sir? Oh, nothing. Nothing, Lieutenant, nothing. Order the 3rd and 4th Battalion to reinforce the Korean perimeter around Seoul. We'll help them ring this city tighter than a snare drum. They want us to try to capture them one more time. Well, for Christ's sake, get in the horn. Slow down a little, huh? You're going to kill us both. Thanks. You know something? What? I don't mind telling you, but I was scared out of my mind up there. But when he held me, when he looked at me, there was something oddly appealing in his eyes, a gentleness. Oh, stop it. I never thought I'd be getting jealous of a 36-foot ape. Are you? You are. <laughs> That's funny, you really are. Now you tell those fuzzy-headed scientists, if they want them taken alive, they should come out and do it themselves, for Christ's sake. I've got casualties, goddammit, I'm gonna have more casualties. Uh, can't you get it through your head? If we can kill that ape now, a lot more people are gonna live? Yeah. Yeah. Look, any more lives, you tell them. Any more lives are on their heads, not mine. Now you tell them that for me. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Pass the word to the units, they... Still want to take him alive. Scientific phenomenon. Bullshit. I think that's the house. What do you think they're going to do with him? Well, the orders are to capture him alive. And then what? Well, I guess put him on exhibition like they originally planned. Hey, we better get inside. <laughs> That's right. I think what's right? Putting him on display like some sort of... Like some sort of freak? Well, listen, it's better than killing him. Well, why can't they take him back to where they found him? Have you ever heard of an oil man shutting a well that promises to produce a hundred barrels a day? We don't live in that kind of world. It's Tom Rose with Miss Baker. Your husband said... Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, please. Oh, they're beautiful. Thank you. Really are. Well, thank you for letting me stay with you. It is an honor to have you here. Listen, I'm going to leave. Why? Why? I'm a reporter and there's one hell of a story out there. Please be careful. Don't worry, I will. Now remember, stay right where you are and don't go out. Tom. Tom, that Buddhist priest. Do you think he'll be free on Saturday?
I didn't hear you say yes. Did that kiss sound like no? Until I take my clothes off? trying to get all people heading for Seoul to turn back. Off the road, out of the way, anywhere. And order our units to assist in beefing up the defenses on the north side of the city. The Koreans have ordered evacuation of all civilian personnel in that sector. No, no, I'll put it on the radio. Please evacuate the neighborhood. Move in an orderly fashion to the south. We repeat, to the south. Do not bring valuables. They will only slow you down. Repeat, please evacuate this area and move in an orderly fashion to the south. Do not. Miss Baker is with your family. They should be safe there. Well, I surely hope so. Have you sighted the AP yet? It's moving faster than we anticipated. It's still ahead of us. If it's not already in Seoul, we'll be there momentarily.
speak to Colonel Davis. No, we cannot wait. The building has been destroyed. People are dying. We must. But I can't get through on my car radio. Please relay the request for me. Yes, Colonel. Oh, thank you, Colonel. Thank you. Jim, I need a big favor from you. What is that? Another Jeep. The second one in the same day? Please. All right, we'll send you the bill, though. sick and tired of talking to your headquarters. Connect me to the Koreans. I want to talk to the Chief of Staff, General Park himself, and nobody else. Now listen, fella. I don't give a damn what you've got to do to get him. You just get him. What the hell are you looking at? My fly unzipped or something?
General Pack? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Colonel Davis Saul here. Things are pretty bad here, sir. We've got casualties come. But that order must be changed, sir. There's not a chance in hell. Yes, sir, of course, sir. I'm glad you understand the situation so well, sir. Yes, sir, I'll do that. Yes, sir. All right, yeah, that's right, sir. That's right, the name is Davis. D-A-V... Hello? Hello? What did he say, sir? General Park and the Korean government have issued orders to kill that hairy son of a bitch. leaving Seoul. He's heading back to the mountains. Good. That's where we'll get him. On the way, call air cab. Get some gunships over that area. Ask the Koreans to concentrate all firepower and available troops there. Uh, sir, where are we going? Where the hell do you think we're going? Burn that goddamn bucket. Give me all your cash. Yes, sir. Yeah, Captain.
We'll let him get about a quarter of the way across, and we'll let him have it. What about the girl, Connor? I know. But what alternatives do we have? with artillery fire.
for his organ grinder now. It's over. It's over. It's just too big for a small world like ours. 